So hello there. I just want to make a quick video. I won't keep for long. I guess on the topic of this Richard Branson fake wannabe space flight nonsense. And as such, there's like still three more weeks left on my lockout strikes for MK Ultra Breakdown, my backup backup page that, uh, you know, has been just frozen out, had a bunch of videos deleted, whatever. So this isn't a topic about pandemics or Cooties 19 or anything. It's a topic about it's a video about Richard Branson and NASA's lies and all this nonsense. And so I'll be posting it on my backup, 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 which only has a few subscribers, but whatever. Shadow banning is what it is. As far as my alternative platforms, like I usually talk about, BitChute and Odyssey. And apparently I can upload on uh, BitTube again. So that's nice. But whatever. Anyway, onwards and upwards with this video. What a joke, this Richard Branson figure. I mean, his thing says, otherwise known as Dr. Yes. Yeah, how about Dr. No, like the James Bond villain, Dr. No? Or even maybe even Dr. Evil? That being said, I have to start by saying, you know, in my politest, most aggressive voice, only a complete blue pill slave, still trapped in the Matrix, would believe this shill Richard Branson space flight is real. What a joke. While this guy wearing lipstick reports the lies on the Communist News Network. So apparently, Richard Branson got in this little plane and went to outer space. Okay, yeah, no. Uh, he went 50 miles up. And uh, notice all the fisheye lens camera trickery he uses in his video? I mean, you'd have to be crazy on LSD not to notice the difference between cameras that maintain a flat undivergent curve and fisheye lens cameras which purposely distort camera views. I mean that's the trick as long as there's no rotation as long as there's no 180 degree turn like like on NASA fake walks then the fisheye lens can be used to mimic curve. It's the only way you ever see curve. And then Michael chimes in He's still waiting for the great alien disclosure with all the flat earthers ready and equipped to debunk any ET coming to Earth, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I guess. But the thing is, is when they pull it off, they're going to do it the same way they do everything else, using TV as a weapon. So people like us will just be mocked. I mean, everyone else that's mesmerized by the television, they'll just attack us. We'll be marginalized and the media will come at us. Because they know a great percentage of the population is just going to blindly trust the television as the only source of truth. If it's on the TV, it's got to be true. That's what, these, that's what these slaves think. And in my opinion, TV is a precursor to the image of the beast. People are marveling after it as the only source of truth, worshipping it, even though the false prophet hasn't even breathed fake life into it yet. And then Michael says, the preconditioning has proven to be all persuasive and very efficient. Yeah, that's why they do it. They know it works. And like I said, at least 70% of people will just buy it because reasons. They won't have any critical thinking skills. They'll just believe it because, you know, reasons. And I says, my guess is when they do this fake disclosure thing, or they might fake a telepathic event using voice-to-skull technology, Operation Blue Beam, claiming Jesus was an alien, blah, blah, blah. And they'll dangle it in front of everyone's faces on the television for a couple years, feeding off the fear. And in my opinion, that's before they fake any alien invasion nonsense or whatever. I mean, even like this picture here. Look at Werner von Braun's gravestone. Why would he do that, right? Or JFK's Situation Room. Hmm, look at that flat earth map on the wall. Much less the fact that all naval operations maps in World War II were flat earth, isomuffle, equidistant maps. That's not weird or anything. Or even this Japanese map, this apparent kamikaze whatever pilot map, also on a flat earth. Hmm, weird, right? But yeah, back to this also. You can pause it and read this. I wrote that like years ago. This was one of the first memes I put together conglomeration memes, whatever. This probably needs to be edited a bit. But anyway, reading that aside, pausing it and reading it aside, a lot of this will be about dangling the fear, getting everybody into an, into an agitated state of just dread. And then Michael chimes in, he agrees. They also might try something like 3D projection mapping due to all the chemtrails 
They are spreading everywhere. They could easily rear project. That's how Stanley Kubrick faked the moon landing, by the way. They could easily rear project an animated image on a floating field of particulates. Yeah, they have actual, like, curtains made out of crystal that refract the light back. So that when you do do it, sometimes you'll get these little shiny points like they're stars or something. But in reality, it's just light refraction. He says he has a small company in Cleveland and can do that can do what we have. Or however, we made a two-story building disappear in real time. Yeah, it's interesting what you can do with uh, 3D projection mapping. Not to mention some VR mapping, VR headset, uh, how they fake spacewalks. I'll play that clip in a bit. But yeah, as Michael says, if he can do it, the scum with the billions and billions at their disposal, they definitely can do it. And I was like, yeah, holograms mixed with voice-to-skull technology, creepy stuff, Project Bluebeam, this is not a conspiracy theory, these are actual military projects. And like I said, it's time to make a video about this Richard Branson guy who thinks he went to outer space at only 50 miles up. What a rube. Especially when Operation Fishbowl got rockets up past 500 miles trying to nuke the firmament. You know, the look you make when you finally study Operation Fishbowl, Operation Paperclip, Operation Dominic, Operation High Jump. I mean, get a clue, people. But people don't want to look at it. I guess the other possibility is that he just filmed it on a green screen set. Like I said, getting to this one clip about how easy it is for them to fake VR headset fake spacewalks. And like, just check this out. video that caught my attention and you will see the same things that I saw. Let's watch. We have to introduce the concept of free fall. So let's use this model of the earth and let's enlist the help of a friend, Patsy. You might know her. So what is significant about this video is number one it was live to school children. Number two we have this stuffed animal that is transitioning in on another video channel. And the actor is able to reach up and grab this doll in real 3D space and manipulate this doll with their hands. And so the only way you're going to pull that off is with one technology. And that technology is virtual reality. Next segment, I'm going to show you how NASA grabs objects in 3D space, rotates them around, manipulates them. They can do this with water, with cloth, anything. And the cool thing about it is we can take what they're doing, what they're seeing with their contact virtual reality augmented lenses and put that on a separate video layer live. So in this clip, they're talking live feed. And what you know, we have a astronaut go by us in the background, uh, obviously trying to give it a more realistic spacey station busy effect the only problem is the camera that was supposed to mask this harness out or the uh, video feed is not working and so we see the guy come flying along in a harness on his wires pretty amazing but that's not all that goes wrong here okay so you see to the right this guy's flipping this hat this hat's actually on another video um, channel in 3D space. It's virtual reality. He's they're wearing augmented uh, contact lenses so that they can interact with these 3D objects. Now in this scene, the guy on the left in the green shirt, he thinks he sees an object in 3D space that's being broadcast to him. So he grabs it and he puts it off to the side. He's looking straight ahead because he's looking at an object rotating in front of him, but the video channel is down that is supposed to show the viewers what we're supposed to see and so we don't actually get to see the object that he has seen and I would just sum this up as a very terrible bad horrible day for NASA doing live feeds but yeah I mean 
This is a picture of the ISS being faked on a green screen, but they can green screen fakery anything. I mean, real time, like you just saw in that clip even. So, I mean, whatever, forget about it, right? You can either just call me a stupid conspiracy theorist and believe the mainstream that that we live on a ball spinning through space at ridiculous speeds, I mean, if you want to. But the point of the matter is, whether you're a globe earther, or a flat earther, or a realm earther like me, the fact of the matter is, Richard Branson did not go to outer space. He went 50 miles up. That's it. He basically, he took a little airplane ride, and he wasted God knows how many billions that could have been spent on Earth here helping people who, who need it. You know, and now what? Next is uh, Jeff Bezos. He's going to try to outdo it. Just going to try to outdo it and turn it into a competition. Whatever. This is a dirty great waste of money. And it's all part and partial with the great deception. So, I mean, you can check out the description section below. I'll put some citation links in. And in the end, make up your own mind. I mean, I don't care what you think, really. I mean, I'm just making videos here. People will either listen or they won't. And I guess at that, I'll just say, peace out, baby.